Paris is a fantastic city. I've been here three years now and it just gets better every day with the city and with the people. It's great to be living and playing football in such a beautiful place. In the beginning, it was hard to get used to, as I come from a small town. And I have to thank my family who followed me here and my teammates who, with the club, have made me feel at home from the start, which is so important for me. At the age of 19, it was tough for Marco Verratti to make the move from Pescara in Italy to Paris Saint-Germain. But the young midfielder soon got used to life and winning with PSG. He slotted into a star-studded side that was growing in confidence. They won Ligue 1 for the first time in 19 years in his first season, and now they've won it three years running. Last year, the Parisians swept the board, winning all four available domestic trophies. Winning everything in France last season wasn't easy, even though we were the favourites. Our aim was to win all the trophies we could in France, and we did that. So I guess that last season has become legendary for PSG. Verratti scored his first goal for PSG in the Champions League group game against Barcelona. They beat the Catalans that night, but there was to be disappointment in the quarter-finals when they met Barcelona once again. They went down 5-1 on Angulas. Being knocked out is very frustrating. We all really wanted to win the Champions League. We played Barcelona, and I think they deserved to win, so that made it less painful. This year, we'll try again and try to do better in the Champions League. We'd like to do as well as we did last season in France and get as far as we can in Europe. It isn't just in Paris that Marco Verratti has made his mark. Now a first choice in the Italian midfield, he started two matches at the 2014 FIFA World Cup in Brazil. Those days at the World Cup are some of my favourite memories. Every footballer dreams of playing for his country at a World Cup. I was very young and the coach chose me to start against England, so I was overcome with emotion, especially when the anthem was played and also during the match. Durante l'inno, durante i preparativi della partita. It all started so well for the Azzurri, beating Group D rivals England 2-1 in their opening match in Manaus. But then it all went wrong. Against Costa Rica and against Uruguay. Dopo partita con l'Inghilterra forse pensavamo che We thought we had an easy way through to the next round after beating England, who we regarded as the best team in the group. But we were wrong. The World Cup was a bit strange for us. The conditions were very harsh, and the South American teams were more familiar with the weather over there. So almost all of them got through to the next round. That was one of the most difficult moments of my short career. Nobody believed we could have been knocked out of the group stage after winning the first match. It was tough to get over that. With the failure in Brazil consigned to history, the Azuri have moved on and Verratti has moved on with them. They've appointed a new coach, the former Juventus star Antonio Conte. Conte has proved to be a great coach since his first couple of matches. He changed our style of play, and the squad is also in transition between generations. A lot of players quit, and some youngsters have come through, but a disciplined coach like Conte can help our team grow. And as Italy develops, so too does the 22-year-old Verratti. He's now been compared to the Italy legend Andrea Pirlo. It makes me really happy. Andrea is still a top Italian player, and he's achieved so much. It makes me feel proud to be compared to him. We have different playing styles, but a comparison like this tells me that I'm working well, and I'm on the right path. The next challenge is France 2016. The Italians qualified at the weekend thanks to a win in Azerbaijan. It'll be a great test for us, and we'll be prepared for it. Italy has always been a great team, and we want that to continue. 